Steve Schulke here with the Twin Home Experts. I want to go ahead and uh, give you some insight on how to snake or clear your kitchen drain out. Now there's a couple different ways and we all know we can use uh, snaking, we can use a water hose, we can use a hydro jet. In this particular situation what we've determined is this kitchen line first of all uh, is backing up and it's backing up into the little bar area here, they've got a refrigerator. There used to be an old laundry line and water came up through there and flooded the floor and stuff. So that's one aspect of it. The other one is we did find a clean out on the back side of this sink right here, which is very, very helpful in cleaning. All right, folks, so the first off that those two kitchen sinks were backing up. Instead of it going on the outside, it found the least resistant path and came out over here this drain pipe right this used to be an old uh, washing machine line but look you see here my moisture meter we're getting wet here in these walls so show you what we're gonna do with that a little bit later but let's go outside in the clean out and I'll show you why it's important to have a kitchen clean out or a wall clean out uh, to prevent any sewage from damaging inside of your home so here we are just outside that bay window or outside we found a two inch clean out we're going to go ahead and run our camera just to see what type of stoppage that we're dealing with why we didn't get water why the customer didn't get water out here uh, in the very beginning is because someone had tightened this down onto the pipe. You don't want this to be tight on the pipe. Just allow this thing to be on loose like that. So that way when it builds up pressure, this will automatically pop off like that. You want the sewage to go on the outside. Now, because there's a, a ton of grease that's in this line, We've attempted to use a cable. That's not really the best way to remove grease. So we're gonna bring out our hydro jetter and actually descale all of that grease out of the line so that way you won't have a continuous backup. All right, well, here's our jetter. This is the best way to clean kitchen drains when you've got major, major grease compaction. This has got over 300 feet of uh, hose on it, so we're going to take this all the way around the backyard there and get this to the clean out. We'll fire this up and see what we pull out of there. You can see the amount of grease that was uh, compacting that drain there. All right, now that we've uh, hydro jetted and cleaned the kitchen line, I'm going to grab uh, a couple scoops of our BioClean. Fill it up with some warm water. I'm dump it down the drain. You want to do this for about five days in a row. Then after that, uh, treat it 
at least once every three weeks, uh, once a month. What this is going to do is it's going to break down the organic matter that builds up inside the pipes and you'll have less backups. You know, the best time to do this is uh, after dinner so you can uh, let this sit overnight. All right, folks, so in order to dry this out properly, I mean, typically when there's a category three with sewage water, you technically should be ripping everything out, but the customer was very adamant on not removing or disposing any type of cabinetry or uh, drywall here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna inject heat inside the